You are now. 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 You are now watching Gotham Galleria. Tune in, log in, subscribe, and follow. Oh, my name is Dolly. Hey, Dolly, where are you from? I'm from Harlem, New York City. All right, what do you do? Oh, I actually have a small business. It's called Women of Love. Um, I sell clothes and everything. We can tell you're in fashion, right? Yes, absolutely. All right. Very colorful outfit. Very Easter-esque. Yes. All right. <laughs> so we're at the Japan Parade. It looks like your outfit is very Japan-inspired. Is that right? It is. This is actually a style called Fairy K. Fairy K. Uh, yes. Okay. Fairy what's what's K all that about? So Fairy K is sitting around like 80s motifs. It's very floaty, very dreamy. So you basically want to look like a cloud, like you're feeling like you're on a cloud. So just think about like 80s and 20s basically. Okay. Yeah. So where would one pick up pieces if they want to be down with, you know, the Fairy K movement? Mm -hmm. So um, usually I shop secondhand. So you can find these things on like Depop. Um, one of my favorite places to shop um, is Macari Japan. But you have to use a shopping service. Okay. And you can find like a lot of like different items on there. Wait, so you're telling me the stuff that you are wearing now are all secondhand? Well, right now, no. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, so this is actually from Walmart, believe it or not. Um, these are actually from a brand called Spank. It's actually one of my favorite shops. These shoes are from Koei Footwear. They're really, really cute. They're sparkly, have little bears on and it. And your bag? And my bag is from Spank as well. Um, I just added little twin stars to it because I love those. I love that cartoon, yes. right? Yeah, right here as well. And did you add that as well? Yes, I added this on a collar. Um, this collar is from an indie brand called Miss Alphabet. And her brand is since was around 80s as well. Oh, so that's two different pieces. Yes. Right? Yes. And can you talk about your accessories a little bit? So these earrings are from a brand called Heart Club. It's a Japanese brand. Okay, and then yeah. your necklace is the same? Uh, my necklace is from um, Dicha. That's um, an Italian brand. And then my headboat is from a shop called Fancy Trap. And they're also from Japan. Uh, great. Anyway. You look yes. great today. Thank All right. You, um, you want to share your Instagram? Yes, my Instagram is Dreamy Dolly. Adams. Hey, Adams. Where are you from? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Big ups to Brooklyn. 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 <laughs> Way up Trinidad and Tobago. And Japan. All right. What do you do? I'm an occupationist. Sounds interesting. <laughs> you look amazing today. Thank you, thank you. you know, Patent leather. Patent leather ones, supreme socks, leather pants. I uh, don't remember the brand of this. Um, then I'm Supply. Oh, I see it right there. Then I'm Supply. Ralph Lauren. And famous Japanese watch maker. Thank you oh, you have two watches too. on. <laughs> you gotta keep one New York time and one Japan time, right? That's right. <laughs> All right. And the bucket hat from where? The bucket hat. Uh, the bucket hat comes out. What's your overall fashion inspiration? Dress how you feel. Dress what you like. You know, dress what make you comfortable. All right. Yeah, exactly. Like you are. You look amazing today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I know we're talking off camera that you have family back in Japan. Yes, Want to exactly. give them a shout out? Shout out my family in Japan. My wife Ayomi, I love you. My son Aja, I love you. Huh? Instagram is at flytrue. Who do we have today? It's Mikey Rodriguez. Hey Mikey, where are you from? Uh, Japan. Okinawa. Japan? Okinawa. What do you do? Uh, I'm construction. Look amazing today. Very simple outfit, but also like a little bit avant-garde. Yeah. What's the word for that? It's it's, it's, it's like well designed, right? Yeah, it's like all a right. designer. Yeah, even the hat is all distressed on the side. This is this is a Japanese company. Okay. Uh, I forget what it was uh, named, but it was like more like the rigid. This actually in the rims, it has uh, like steel uh, wire. wiring. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you can like go like this and it'll stay up. Oh, interesting. So off camera, we were talking about this this piece you have on. Yeah. You just got it in the mail today. Yeah. It looks great. Okay. Do you know the brand? I can probably pull it oh, up. Oh, it's right here. You have a yeah, there's a tag right there. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Shape noise. Shape noise, yeah. Okay. 
So I, I've never heard about this brand. How did you stumble upon it? It was just like online, and I got it on the parcel just today. So I was, I just started wearing it, and then you know, as my girlfriend said, like she was like, you know, I love it. Oh my god! And then I just wore it to the Japan parade. Yeah. A lot of people in street fashion Japan sort of have this kind of look anyway. There's a chance forecast for rain, so that came in perfect, right? Right. All right. Plus. And then <laughs> your jeans. Or pants? Uh, these are just these are just sweatpants. This is a uh, Adidas Easy collection. Like it's supposed to be. Uh, Let me see it from the side. Yeah. Uh, you have an Instagram you want to share? It's uh, it will be unsettling footsteps. Who do we have today? Hi, my name is Tony. Tony. Hey, Tony. Hi. Where are you from? Uh, I'm living in the All right. What do you do? I'm a makeup artist. Oh wow! All right. Look at the eye makeup, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about your overall fashion inspiration. Um, it's a lot of black, anything from vintage to going, so... Okay. You have any standout pieces you want to point out today? Um, my bag from Skin Graft is kind of a daily staple. I always have it. Um, I never leave home without the necklaces. Kind of signature Amazing. pieces. Alright, and then your cap is pretty unique. It's like a leather beanie? Yeah, it's a dead stock. So, great vintage. And then I also noticed you have a great pair of, what do they call it, on feet? Is that um, what they say? These were the Rick Owen Stock Martens collaboration. Oh, great. You look amazing. Thank can you. We, can we talk a little bit about your jewelry, especially your rings? Can we see them? Yeah. So, I have a mix of uh, vintage pieces. This is from uh, Chris Habana. This is from Arcana Obscura. They're both New York-based uh, silversmiths. This is a friend of mine, uh, Alex. He runs a menswear and like men's grooming company called Philandry. Can I see the back of your jacket and, and with your bag as yeah. well? Oh, it's a harness. Yeah. Oh, it looks amazing. So it's great because I can just throw it on over anything and I'm good to go. You can follow me on uh, T Tolvi T U L V E makeup. Jazia. Jazia, where are you from? Philadelphia. Oh, really? What are you doing in New York City? Just see this parade. Oh, you came here just for the Japan parade? Yeah. How long was the drive? It was like a little over two hours. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I stopped you because you look very, very, very amazing. Um, what was the inspiration behind today's outfit? For today, um, I tried to be like cautious of the weather to stay warm and everything. But like, I like I am like really inspired by like magical girl anime and stuff. Like just these kind of color palettes. A kind of bright, saturated, almost pastel color that you see a lot in those kind of shows, even if it's not like the main thing. And that's something I really like, am attracted to. Yeah. Because it's something I can kind of bring into my own life. Yeah, and you really stand out. You look great, yeah? I do have an Instagram. N-U-K-U, Dax. My name's Tom Walsh. Hey, Tom. How are you today? Good, good. Great. Uh, Tom, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Brooklyn. Well, I'm originally from California, but uh, now I live in uh, Brooklyn in Greenpoint. Okay, what do you do? Uh, I'm a substitute teacher. Oh, great. Educate the children, right? Yeah. <laughs> you look great. You're in some traditional garb, right? Yeah. Can you talk to us a little bit about the outfit? Yeah, so this is uh, really the outfit that we uh, train martial arts in. The top part is called a gi. And then uh, the bottom part is a hakama. Uh, there's a obi, which is kind of like a belt that uh, helps hold it all together. Uh, lastly, uh, I have a tabi, which are these uh, traditional socks. I don't know if you know about the brand Margiela. They do a, sh a shoot just like that. It's called the tabi. Oh, cool. Now I know where it's from. Hey, thank you so much. You look amazing. You have a great day. Thanks, you too. Who do we have today? Lily Leviton. Hey, Lily, where are you from? Just a few blocks from here. Okay. So today we're at the Japan Parade. What did you think about it? It was a lot of fun. I hope I can walk in it again next year with my girl. Oh, so you were in the parade. Oh. Okay. The oh, really? So you guys have like a group? Well, before we talk about that, well, let me take a look at the outfit. So you just mentioned about the Lolita fashion. So what is it about this particular fashion that draws you in? I like the colorful horses. I think it's cute. That's really about it. What, why did you choose these colors? It was an outfit I put together for a birthday party a long time ago, but I did not make it to the party, so I never got the chance to wear it. Oh, okay. So I want to save it for a special occasion. So, and today's the day. 